Intruder detected. 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 Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will use OpenVINU model to our person detection. Depending on your hardware, you must install your OpenVINU package to run our model. Refer to this documentation whether you are on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, or Raspbian. Assuming that you have installed and activate your OpenVINU environment, you have to download this code from my GitHub. Then also this model pedestrian detection ADA002 in a zip file. This is optional if you want to use this video in MP4 format or you can use your web camera. I have already downloaded all of this so we will now extract these two files. Then inside our person detection main, we will create a folder named model. Also, we will create a new folder named video. Then we put this person media mp4 into our video folder. We will put these two models inside the model folder we created earlier. Then we will open this file in our VS Code editor. Assuming that you have already installed your Envino environment, let's get started. Let me explain this code a little. We will take model to use the pedestrian detection ADAS002.xml. We set our device to use CPU. We set our input stream to use the person media.mp4 video inside the video folder. You can use zero for your webcam. We define our font equals to cv2.font Hershey duplex. We will create our main function. We define our model XML and model bin. Then we set our IE equals to IE core. Uh, then we set our net to read our model. In this line, we take exec net to load our network with network net, num request is equal to two, our device, which is CPU. Then we pre process our input image as batch size, channel, height, and width. We will use CAP for our CV2 video capture with an input stream. Then we set our core request ID is equals to zero. In entering while loop, 
we will define our inf start is equals to time that time so that we can get our fps value to resize our frame into in frame transpose it then reshape our in frame to batch size channel height and width then we will start inference when the inference cycle has finished we will define our inf end is equals to time that time then we take that time is equals to inf end minus inf start to get our fps value then we take result as our detection output then we will make a for loop for our output result with object to extract the probability and box coordinates then we create an if statement for probability results if the probability result is greater than 0 0.08 we will get this coordinates x min and y min for upper left corner and also we will get the x max and the y max coordinates for lower right corner thus creating a bounding box taking size is equals to x max minus x min divided by 160 so that our input text visualization will vary depending on the box size with this cv2 rectangle we will visualize our bounding box in each frame then we will create a shaded yellow rectangle as a box header to input this input text name person with a black color then we calculate our fps value as inf time message with float in two decimal points then we create our shaded black rectangle and print our yellow colored inf time message into this shaded black rectangle then we display our frame if escape key is pressed the program will break then cp to destroy all windows then we will now run our program assuming that you have already implemented the person detector we will now edit and add some lines in our person detector.py to make some audio alerts first we will import daytime and time delta then we will import pygame initialize our pygame mixer then we create an alert time as an empty list we still use our model pedestrian detection ada002.xml and still we use our cpu as device our input stream is burglar.mp4 you can download it in the link below then we create an alert function with two parameters audio for audio files and timer for interval inside the alert function we will add an if statement if the current time is greater than the time in alert time list we will define our interval is equals to time delta in seconds is equals to timer then we will play the audio file via pygame mixer that sound we add some delay then we stop our audio file from playing and adding some delays we will now clear our alert time list then we will append new time plus time delta which is our interval to our alert time list then we will just print any statement here then else we just issue pass in our main function we will populate our alert time list with the current time
in this line we will call the alert function with an intruder that OGG file with an interval of 3 seconds you can make it to 5 you can make it to 10 I just want to make it in 3 seconds then we will run this person detector that py with an audio alert intruder detected 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 